And while COVID-19 cases rise, the concern is even greater for people dealing with compromised immune systems. Federal health agencies are now trying to determine whether an additional COVID-19 vaccine dose is actually needed for these patients. And all new at 11, our Haley Bull is speaking with a family she's followed since their transplant surgery in the midst of this pandemic. And they're now navigating the changing COVID world yet again. They're just over a year since a kidney transplant vaccinated and like many others, listening to the guidance from medical experts. But now they're having to adjust to the case rise here in Florida again. While COVID-19 continues its spread across the country, Patrick and Patsy Nielsen are extra mindful. We started off wearing our masks from the get go and we never eased up on it. They have to be. Patrick is just over a year since a life changing donation, a new kidney. It's been a roller coaster. Going from the lowest low to getting a new kidney. And once we got it, we were looking forward to living life and doing things like we had dreamed of doing. But now that COVID's back on a surge, we've had to rethink everything that we're doing on a daily basis. People who are immunocompromised are especially vulnerable to COVID-19. The virus right now is at a high transmission level where the Nielsen's live in Florida and across nearly 60% of U.S. counties. And the concern is that we always like push our patients to take precautions even before the COVID-19 um, pandemic. But the concern right now is their caregivers and the people they are in contact with who are not vaccinated, who are not wearing the mask. The CDC says immunocompromised people appear to have reduced immune responses to COVID-19 vaccines, leaving them more likely to have breakthrough infection. But they could be helped by a third shot, something the CDC isn't recommending. Other countries like Israel and France are already recommending additional shots. But there are people going out there and getting third doses for themselves. Dr. Dory Segev is with Johns Hopkins. He says they found some people had an enhanced response, but there are still questions to answer. They're now launching an NIH funded trial. I'm very anxious to get to an answer. I'm very anxious for us to gather as much data as we possibly can to understand what is the right way to boost immunity for transplant patients? And is that right way safe? And so this is going to be a personalized thing for Patrick. I know the whole world is working on it as best as they can. So um, I'd rather wait for the right information than then throw out some false quickly and not be 100% certain. The FDA and CDC are both monitoring data from studies. An advisory panel discussed the issue last week, but it remains to be seen if and when they issue any recommendations. In Tampa, Haley Bull, ABC Action News.